Pinker. Welcome to Losing Large in America with the Pinker, Dr. Tom, Dr. Lisa, PinkHCG.com. That's PinkHCG.com. If you want to learn more about the diet, it's going to go to a Kevin Trudeau's landing page. And by the way, these guys are Kevin Trudeau's personal doctor. That's right. Okay. So he's the man. There's no doubt about it. And uh, we've talked about the last couple days, phase one, phase three. Today we're talking about phase three. I'm not there yet. It's the locking phase. It's uh, locking metabolism, Dr. Tom. Is that Pretty what you're much. doing? All right, so let's go through phase three. Right, you've gone through the HCG for 23 or 40 days. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what is phase three exactly? Phase three is what's going to make this a sustainable program. So that with the weight that you've lost, you not only will keep the weight up, but you can continue to lose weight. And what we've done in phase two is that you've gone from this chronic storage state that everybody's in from calorie restriction into an actual fat burning state now. And what we teach you during this phase is, is that how you should eat normally throughout the day, which Lisa will go into more details about, but basically keeping your energy expenditure where it's supposed to be, teaching you the, the habits of not overeating, but still being able to eat pretty much the type of foods that you want to eat, just better choices. So that in the long run, this is something that is sustainable without being on a diet the rest right. of your life. Right. Now, let me ask you this. We even discussed this. This is a little off the subject, but would, would you, wouldn't you agree with, or oh, people are losing that, you know, like why do gain, people gain things back? Don't you have to like to change the image in your head of who you are? Absolutely. Isn't that really important? Absolutely. I mean, and then I think we talked about this a little bit earlier. This diet is as much mental as it is physical. You're making physical changes, yes, but you've got to make changes in the way that you think about food, the way you approach food, the way you prepare food, the way you socialize around food. And they don't have to be negative things, they're just different than what you've been doing in the past. So that's part of what we do is we teach you how to change those thoughts. Okay, so phase three, well what are they, what, like give me an idea okay. about calories and what you can eat okay. and so on and so forth. So the way phase three works is after you finish your HCG, your last two days you're actually without injection, you're still on the 500 calories. And then you move into phase two. And why is that? Why, why is that? Because you have HCG built up in your system. Okay. So it's still there. You still got it built up. We wait about 72 hours or so from your last injection, and that's when you actually start phase three. So the main part of phase three is you're going back to having breakfast, lunch, and dinner. If you're hungry, snacks in between. You're eating no sugar and no starch. That includes no alcohol as well. Um, during this phase, we ask patients to restrict themselves to 1,200 calories. Mostly just as we transition you from the 500 calories back to what your eventual calorie count is going to be. So that's the gist of it. We're, we're not really restricting telling you you have to have this or you have to have this much ounces or anything like that. You can have eggs for breakfast again. You can have lunch as a salad and a chicken breast if mm -hmm. you want again. You can have dinner as a, a, a steak and some veggies. That's fine. And why? I'm just curious. Why, uh, at least I, back to phase two a little bit, but also you suggest on phase three, why is organic so important? Well, it depends on what things we're talking about organic. As you mentioned earlier, grapes. Grapes. So fruit. Fruits and veggies, there's a group of vegetables called the Dirty Dozen, put out by an environmental working group. That's a list of the fruits and vegetables that are most heavily sprayed crops. So those are the guys that are most important to have organic. You don't want to be taking in all those extra pesticides. Right. Okay? As far as your animal products go, unfortunately, most of the animals in the United States are not raised organically. We want them to be bigger. So what are we going to do to make them bigger? We're yeah, going to so give them steroids. Are huge. Right, we're right. going to give them steroids. Right. Okay. Right. So what happens? They get steroids. Cows, as an example, we want them to produce more milk, so we're going to give them steroids to produce more milk. Now the cows get mastitis because they're not supposed to be that large. Now we have to give them an antibiotic to take care of the infection that they got from the steroid. So now the antibiotic and the steroid are all passing through the meat and the milk to you and I. So when we go organic. We're not doing that to our animals. We're not absorbing all that antibiotic and because it is a little more expensive. So, like I said, what mm -hmm. I try to do is not on phase two, which I'm doing everything organic, because, like I said, it's more expensive, but you don't get a whole lot to eat anyway, so it really doesn't make a difference. But the fact of the matter is, um, when I was on phase one, I did a lot of organic, a lot I didn't. You know, I, mean, I did the best, best, best I did I did best I could, and I had no meat. And I guess if you're not going to eat a lot of meat, yes, there's a little more money, but so you go out and you buy some bison or some grass fed, and, right. and, 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 and so what? If you're going to, if you're going to say splurge on a steak, you're going to splurge on something that's absolutely delicious and, absolutely. and, and it's, and it's, and it's Raise, right. And nutritious. And and, uh, and nutritious, yeah, because bison, i got to taste them. There's not a lot of fat in that. I mean, I know someone owns a bison farm. They, there's like, you know, like a couple 
grams of fat in a four or six ounce steak. It's amazing. It's very lean. It is, is real, real lean. So, all right, so you eat, so you're basically you're eating right. Now, you now talk a little about your practice. So, you say, you, like, you counsel them. So, so you have a, a weight coach. Let's talk a little bit about her. So, if, if you do, do, people do decide to sign up, they can email or call and, and, and right. people respond. And yes. so, so that you just don't like give them the shots and send them on their way. No, <laughs> no. We're a full service clinic. Basically, what we do is once a patient signs up and decides to come on board, they first see Dr. Tom, right. goes through their health history, their medical history, explains the program to them. Then they'll have an initial consult for phase one, either with myself or Roxanne, who's our HCG coach. We go through kind of what we talked about today, but a little bit more in depth. We also have phase two, phase three, and phase four counseling all the way through. However, as you mentioned, if you have questions, problems, issues, anything that comes up, we're available daily for email contact, including the weekends. And we take phone calls during the week as well. Okay. So if something comes up, you get an answer within 24 hours, we tell you what to do. We don't leave you hanging out in the wind. But you, And you also, you, you can treat people out of town too, right? We do. You do. I mean, we so do. because I have somebody in Gamebury, Connecticut yes. that emailed me today that said, or yesterday, that said, I, you know, we're looking for a doctor and I can't find one. I said, well, I can hook you up. Right, so right. We do. If there's someone out of town, these guys, they give you a consultation over the phone right. and they can send you the stuff in the mail. Exactly. Okay, is there anything else you want to add for phase well, three? Just just the, the one last thing, and this is very quickly, is that nobody disagrees with what any dietitian or any other physician would say, is that you have to have permanent lifestyle changes, you have to you know, make better choices, moderate exercise, and that type of thing. It's just that this diet is more of an intervention that helps people get to that point where that's actually the easy part. Right, it's a quick start. I mean, that's, that's why I did it, okay? I mean, I did the cleansing. I mean, after, if I could lose 30 pounds in 40 days, and, and I'd, like I said, I lost 14 to cleansing, it means if I could drop 44 or 45 pounds, and, I, and, and what it is, amounts to 10 weeks, okay? That's, because that's what it is. It's 30 days plus, the, you know, the 40 days, 70 days, is about 10 weeks. That means I drop 45 pounds in, uh, in, in 10 weeks. Exactly. That's four and a half pounds a week. You're not going to do that anywhere else, okay? No. So it's a fast, it's not for everybody, but for me, it's the fast track. And I wanted fast results, and I was willing to pay the price of the 500 calories and the shots. Like I say, it's no big deal. But I have to tell you something, the momentum is building, and I really feel great. I've got a lot of energy, and by, here's, the, here's the best part, not a lot of exercise. Maybe 30 to 40 minutes a day of walking, walking. Awesome. You don't have to go crazy in the treadmill. You have to go nuts. You don't have to go run. They don't want the weights. They probably don't want you to do all this stuff because if I get so hungry, you'll eat a horse. But the bottom, <laughs> but the bottom line is there's not a lot of Horse is lean. Okay. Horse is <laughs> lean. Yeah, Flicka is my good friend. Okay, So that's another part of it. And, and, and you know what? I'm, I'm going to confess here. I haven't walked a lot and I've lost a ton of weight. Okay, So I'm not saying you shouldn't exercise because you should for anything. It's for mental. But... And I'm going to start walking a little bit more because I'm building the momentum. But it's not a lot of exercise. 34, right? 34, you know, 20 minutes here, 20 minutes there. And I always tell people on my other videos, I'm like, hey, um, you know, 15 minutes up, 15 minutes back is probably a mile and a half, a three-point on a treadmill. So it's not really going that fast. So uh, I've been fibbing a little bit. I said I've been walking. I've been walking as much as I should. But I have been walking to the refrigerator for nothing. Open it up. <laughs> there's nothing there. Nothing is growing in there. So, all right. I thank you guys. They're awesome. And uh, they're going to be on my radio show this week uh, on Sunday night. I'll listen to them. Um, actually, they're on last Sunday night. I'm sorry. So you can go to my website, jeffpincus.com, and listen to uh, to the broadcast. And remember, if you're interested in the diet, go to pinkhcg.com. That's pinkhcg.com. This is a Pinker for Dr. Tom and Dr. Lisa. We'll see you tomorrow. So long, everybody.